people sold a dream for people to move, for <laughs> black people to move to Atlanta. Because the truth of the matter is, don't go to Atlanta thinking that you're going to date actual available men, but go to Atlanta if you are on the fence and you are open to dating women. Oh. to say that like it's so awkward it's your girl king kinsey please stay tuned because i will be dropping my weekly vlogs every monday every motherfucking monday don't hold me to it <laughs> but yeah if you enjoy my content please also remember to hit that subscribe button also turn on your post notifications so you are made aware first of when i drop my videos and you know just show your girl some love like share comment all that you know put your girl on <laughs> Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. This first weekly vlog. I'm losing my vlog virginity, y'all. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Happy Sunday, y'all. It's your girl, King Kinsey. Good morning to my kingpins. Well, okay, it's no longer morning, but you don't need to know what time it is, okay? You don't need to know. Your girl is naturally not an early riser, but I am trying to change my ways. So, um, right now, I am indulging in my morning tonic. Yes, I'm going to keep saying morning. Um, in my little holiday mug from way back. Um, but this is very common. It's just hot lemon juice, um, hot water, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, and cayenne pepper. Very common. You've probably heard of it a thousand times, but, um, the hype is real. And I've been drinking this for a while and it literally like regulates your digestion first thing in the morning. Your body is like sleep fasting essentially. So it's just processing everything that you ate and by the time you wake up you have a clean slate you know if you didn't eat too late everything should be digested and this just kind of like cleans it out so um and any kind of ailment that I have like if I wake up with a headache if I wake up with a stomach ache if I wake up with anything like had a long night you know what I mean so if I any of that this knocks it out yeah that morning tonic it does what it do. It's antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal. It goes into your body and prepares your cells like armor against an enemy, essentially. Like, it preps your body for the day, cleanses you out, and it gives you great havoc protection. And that havoc, you know, could be your regular diet. It could be sugar. It could be, you know whatever the case, it just really puts your body in an alkaline state so that your cells are not susceptible to viruses and diseases and things that make you sick. So highly recommend. Sorry about all that noise, y'all. That's my mom is in the shower and, um, the washer and dryer are going. So noise oh excuse me um i need to get this down before it goes luke okay because um, another thing i'm doing is um rolling my morning blunt baby so yeah that should be a new week um so yeah, not doing much. I'm actually just sitting here on my couch. This is my couch. You see this little like 
situation I got going here with all these pillows. This is like my little palette. Like, I don't know what it is about me, but I love me just a big old pillowy situation. I literally sit right here. Like, it's a thing. Anyway, so I have pillows everywhere. Just all kind of look. That's my wife's pound puppy from when she was like born and like we just <laughs> let me tell you so anyway um yeah so I need to write out my schedule for the month because today is the third and my calendar has not been filled out and when my calendar is not filled out I feel lost I feel like I don't know what I'm doing I feel like I don't know where I'm going I feel like my life is in shambles so um, I woke up kind of feeling blah this morning, so I'm going to just um, drink my morning tonic and my morning tea, and then I'm going to eat because um, I woke up with all kinds of cravings and just decided to order and DoorDash me some shit, and it's sitting right in front of me. I can't wait to get to it. But I'm talking to y'all, so I need to smoke and I need to like get my juices flowing and no gym today no gym today no gym today um but tomorrow for sure probably at the butt crack of dawn um anyway y'all i'm new to this it's gonna be hard like it's not hard talking to myself but it's hard talking to myself out loud because I talk to myself in my head all the time. But talking to myself out loud, it's just going to be different. Like, this is different for me. But it's um, the path I have chosen. And it is very, very new. And just bear with me, y'all, because I'm still trying to figure this all out. And I'm filming with my phone, okay? I'll give you one of the more fancy vlogger phones eventually. But I'm filming with my phone. And to be honest, like, when you look at some of the picture quality... Okay, your girl's got a very up-to-date phone, so sometimes it's all doing the cameras and then some, but it would be nice not to have to use my phone for this, um, so eventually I'll probably get me a camera, but right now, I don't care. Uh, it's got a tang. That apple cider vinegar will, it's gonna get you right there. Right there. Anyway, so... Yeah, let me just um, go ahead and finish rolling and uh, catch up with y'all later. Um, I'll probably just do some things around the house, you know, take y'all with me, let you see what I do when I'm being bummy. As you can see, as you can see, this is bummy. This is straight out the bed, straight out the bed, so... But, you know, anybody that knows me knows I'm bummy all day. Like, I'm not a fashionista. I'm not any of that. If that's what you're looking for, leave this channel. So, anyway. But I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to share my life with you guys. I'm excited for this new chapter in my life. I'll, like, as you guys get to know me, I'll explain my past my present and where i think i'm going so yeah my future um a lot of new things on the horizon like in the next by next year so like in the next six to eight months this is going to be the journey is um going to be incredibly fulfilling i think and exciting and i'm so ready so yeah um I don't know when I'll get around to telling you guys anything, but, and I'm so not, I'm not used to looking at myself. Like before I decided I was going to be a vlogger, um, I'm not the girl that has 30,000 photos in their camera. I don't, I, uh, taking selfies, you know, taking video at all of anything, capturing anything. I'm not good at capturing moments. I'm just good at living Anyway, so, yeah, I'm excited, I'm 
very, 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 very excited to go on this journey with you guys and let you in. I'm a very private person and like I said before, this is, this is going to be a challenge for me, just being that vulnerable. Anyway, I'm uh, sitting here just watching my favorite show of all time that I've seen like a thousand times over and I'm waving. Like, it's really hard not to look at yourself. Like, it's really hard not to look at yourself and to look at this little dot like I'm talking to y'all, but it is, it's hard. This is going to take some training. Like, I'm... Every time I start talking, I'm looking at myself and then I remind myself to look up and I'm like, this is going to be difficult. So anyway, um, yeah, my favorite show of all time. <laughs> this is the other half of me. Yes, y'all. I know. I know. Outlander. It is my favorite. I mean, different shows do different things for me, but as far as the one that I watch over and over and over and over and over, I'll have it running in the background like elevator music, like over and over and over and over when I'm working, when I'm doing anything like, you know, I like romance. It has adventure, romance, gore. It has, it has every sentiment you can think of and it's the cast, the production, that it's just so good. The writing, the character development, The acting, again, like it's sublime and it is a feast for the eyes and stars. If y'all don't hurry the up and bring out season six, there's going to be a problem. We're going to have a problem. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to blunt. Anyway. Since I made the decision to become a vlogger, um, I decided to give a name to my subscribers because I feel like this is going to be a really intimate and personal experience through the years. I feel like I'm going to blossom and grow and receive and just allow myself to be present and in the moment and transparent with my subscribers. And so I wanted to give you guys a name and I like, I watched several other vloggers and I love the little like pet names they give them it's just so cute so my subscribers you ready for it my subscribers I've decided that I'm gonna call you guys my Kinsey kingpins I mean it just seems fitting you know because your girl's a G <laughs> anyway so yeah, Kings and Kingpins, I want to tell you now, and if I don't tell you enough, every single time you click on one of my vlogs that I love you, I appreciate you, I support you because you support me, and let's do this, baby. Like, let's do this. And another thing I'm, like, super apprehensive about is the comments. Like, when I actually post my first vlog, which this will be in, the comments, like, I don't know, like, can y'all get them? Because I don't want to have to. I don't have the time. And I know, like, and just in kind of researching this field and everything that comes with it, you know, prior to pressing record, I know that just, you just know negativity comes with everything. And sometimes I'm, I could be hot. I'd be ready to fight. I can get hot and sometimes it's not worth my energy it's not worth my time it's not worth it it's just not worth it so y'all get them okay get sick em. sick em. do not expect me to argue with you I don't I don't know y'all and so I do but that negativity shit mm -mm. I ain't got time for that. if you came on my page just to say I'm ugly you don't like me you don't like what I'm wearing you don't like blah blah blah, blah. skip me entirely keep it moving so um but I appreciate it my kingpins just had my back and did that for me <laughs> I ain't got the time okay so anyway I'm excited 
I'm excited. And if you're new to my channel, if you're new to King Kinsey, remember to please, I'm not gonna, I have to say this all the time now. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can get notified whenever I drop a new vlog and I will be dropping them weekly. So weekly vlogs will be the constant, will be the steady constant. And every now and again, I'll throw the little song. song. See, again, I'm looking at myself. I can't stop looking at myself. Like, I'm like, Ugh, what's going on? What do I look like? Am I crusty? What, what's going on? Ugh, this pimple won't let me live. Like, mm, what is happening? When I need to just be looking at y'all right in the eyeball. Hey, girl. <laughs> Means again, pins. I like it. Love you guys. Love you, kingpins. <laughs> I'm out. Girl. You see that right there? I'm having the time of my life. Bomb. Okay? Bomb. Favorite show? Favorite food? Bomb. Bomb. Let me eat, girl. Bye. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that beat like stocking. Just joshing. I'ma spend this holiday locking. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top end. I can put a ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song. Give me that tempo. Ooh. So cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. Even better cheat me a Vincenzo's. I like to call it a passion. I can be sitting with legs. I'm at the venue, it's packing I'm digging her accent I got a baby, Simon, down on me And she tryna get it, I'm fast That's my type of distraction That's my type of she laughing Got my own flow and I'm about to get a patent Brand new sheets for the bed, they set Y'all was the tune, didn't back in I swear they keep jacking I ain't doing no verse, quit asking What's poppin'? Brand new whip, just hopped in I got options I can pass that beat like stocking just joshing. I'ma spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top ten. I can put a ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song. Give me that tempo. Ooh. So cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. Eating pettuccine or Vincenzo's. <laughs>
Thursday morning. It is a beautiful morning. I am about to go hiking, which I love, but it's going to be a doozy. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, y'all. Like, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. So, I'm about to hit this hike, lay these calories to rest, and, you know, do me. 
see how today goes. That's the plan for today, so just work out, eat good, smell good. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, baby. <laughs> we out here, y'all. The nature. See that? You see that? Sweat. You know about that life. It's your girl, your favorite auntie. Keep up. Ugh. And we got this more to go. Look at my boo, my baby daddy. <laughs> Look at the beautiful scenery. Minus the smoke. We in California, y'all. This is good old reliable Auburn. Hiking trails are beautiful. Let's put in this work. No pay, no gain, right? Check in with you later. Fuck. Woo, shit. Oh my God. Here we go, y'all. No pay, no gain. Let's go. Look at that smoke, y'all. We out here like some idiots, but it's so beautiful. Which way are we supposed to go? Well, I guess this Fork is in the road. They are telling us. Somebody's very nice. Red or blue pill. You might go this way. Follow the arrow. Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. Beautiful silence. Mm. The best. We almost done with this, y'all. As you can see, I am melting. This is a beautiful hike. Beautiful with the exception of all the smoke, as you can see. Look at all that smoke, y'all. But we breathing, we alive, we out here. Yeah. Ooh, that SPF, come on now. Melting. All right, y'all. I will get back with you. When we get to the other side, oh, see, I'm about to die out here, y'all. Come on now. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, my baby's stretching. Oh, she's stretching. Woo. This is worth it. And I'm getting some sun, <laughs> some color. <laughs> yeah. 
See y'all later. Many hours later. recently where she was just like um she wants she open or try my only issue is i do like the feeling of flesh yeah but sex in general it's not about what you it's not about it's about multiple things you like not just picking out well i like fresh but i like flesh well liking flesh is not going to stop you from liking what she's going to do to you so I you're still going to get that it's going to be amazing. I just think that I'm going to get hung up on the part of it's not a man. And you can't necessarily get me pregnant. Why are you trying to get pregnant? Because I want to have kids. Are you trying to be or are you trying to have sex? I'm trying to be in a relationship. I'm going to be too upset. Why? Why? You never know how you're going to feel until you do it. Who's to say that's going to happen? You know how to feel. That's true. But I just felt like... Oh, can you hand me my, my one, please? Right? Okay. <laughs> she dropped the leaf. Oh that. my god, give it! Wait, you got more than a leaf, bitch. She got fruit fruit? Yeah, she got the nut. What the hell? I didn't have nuts. It was lettuce. Um, okay, can you hand me the other one? Put, put your salad Oh, up. do you like our white toes? Yeah. <laughs> Mine are similar. Oh, she got the, um, Ruthie told me not to get it because somebody else got it. She was just like, Ugh. I don't like. The fruit? Yeah. I love it. Somebody that, her name starts with an A, but I don't like. But. An A? Yeah. yeah. Okay. At work? No. I mean, it does make me look kind of scary. Because yes. Yes. There's no light. light. Yeah. And this is definitely a light a light girl thing because oh my uh, God. you cannot do this when you're a dark skin. Get up close. Let me see you. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Thank so you. So let me let me do a formal introduction. Okay. 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 Oh, this so is great. this is the trio. These are the mains. Okay. Uh -huh. Let me show you the official. I mean the official. We all have the same. The official. Oh my God. Let's go. I mean, yeah. for some reason, we had to get the same tattoo. What was the fucking key? See it? Probably not. 
Wait, no? we gotta get closer. Bitch, I can't get no closer. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> it would only be her that's an R with a brown. Because it's and Rita. Times three. Yeah. Rita? Yeah, ours is their power. Rita, Ray, Ruby. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Hi. And we have been besties since yeah. sophomore year of high school. This bitch likes to say sophomore year. It was sophomore year. It was the end of sophomore year. Stop it. It's a lot. Yeah, but we have been friends. Wait, wait, it wasn't the end of sophomore was, year? No, yeah. it was the beginning of sophomore year. Biology. That's yes, when we met. That's when we met and we clicked instantly. We and did. then you brought me home to this bitch. And she was like, we love her. Yeah. It was like, no, no, no. It was like, <laughs> what I love is. I mean, yeah. it was always like, you were just going to be our friend. She was just always going to be our there. friend. Yes. 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 Kept looking at me like, why is this light skin bitch? <laughs> why no, more importantly, <laughs> why is this light skin bitch always in sweats in my house? <laughs> so, this is the foundation, y'all. These are the chicks that have held me down from thick and thin for a gazillion years. And all these little. My thing is. To your, king, your kingpin. Mm -hmm. Don't move to Atlanta because, again, it is a blatant lie. Oh. You will not find love. Okay. You will indeed, you will indeed find yourself in debt, trying to keep up with the Joneses. Negative. But the hustle in Atlanta, you'll meet so many other women that the hustle is strong, where it will propel you to be like, oh, I can learn another skill. Like I can learn how to do hair, I can learn how to do some kind of like body stuff, I can start my own business. So it's avenues. Very much so. And people are super supportive. And they will, even if it's their craft and you're going to them, they will teach you to be like, oh, you should do this. Okay. Oh, that's nice. So, like, I've just met so many great women as far as, like, in the, that are entrepreneurs, you know, black women are great, amazing. I will say that the, there are some great black men. There are. The only problem with those great black men is they are in relationships. They are fully married, but super nice, super helpful, super... But it just huh? Yeah, you wish. Don't worry about my wife. <laughs> no, most of them are like the ones that I've met are like super faithful. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, I know it's it's rampant there, and I know it's a thing. Like you will come across somebody that's not, but it's, you know. And like, because everybody needs a lot to us, so yeah, it does. Once we find that out, we're gonna be like. Whoa. But also having sex in once in a while means a lot too. So, <laughs> so there's another thing that you'll get very used to in the South. The um, the fake Southern hospitality where we say hi to everybody, but we really don't give a fuck about people. It just comes on naturally. So people, you see, like, hi, how are you? Okay. Bless your heart. <laughs> Bless your little heart. You know what? Bless your heart really means. Get the fuck away. You're talking to me. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> I don't like you, and you're kind of stupid. Small talk real. I don't do small talk though. I uh, hate it. You I gotta it. learn small talk, especially during the date. Oh. I don't like small talk. Because um, you can't just invite every old Tom, Dick, and Harry back to your house. Because again, like Selena, she had she did that for what six, seven guys. Really? One guy trying to move in. Oh, like wow. I'm not leaving. I'm homeless if I if I'm not here. What? Yeah. Oh hell. Oh, I'm not being nobody's house. Oh hell. So oh, I just went, oh, yeah. Wow. And she's such a good person, you know, like in her heart, she's like, well, I want to help him out. But then after a while, it's like, but, but, but you do gotta go. Like, you gotta, you gotta leave. Because I can't have that. No, sir. Man, dating is gonna be hard. <laughs> now that we're, <laughs> dating is going, going to be hard? No, like now that dating is mean, going to be hard. When's the last time that you literally have just like really gave it a shot? Never. And I love how Ray was gonna bust you out if you said something different, but she was waiting for the answer. I think you. First of all, first I think of you all. wanted it. What I'll do? Don't say his name. Which one? Um, rhymes, rhymes with prank. Oh, um, Army. Yeah. Army Hammer. Yeah. I. I thought. <laughs> I, yeah. Army Hammer. Army Hammer. Oh. Yeah. It's he's mad for that. Who wrote this? Um, I, possibly Army could have been, but, um, no, I have So, you have to, though. You gotta start. I think, the thing is, that was a whim. Like, I, the win exactly. That was a whim. Meeting him, asking for his number, like, getting to know him and starting, 
that was a whim. That wasn't something that I wanted, like, I wasn't even thinking about it. But now, every time I go into those situations, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, should I do this, should I not? Yeah. You know what I mean? That thing was, I wasn't thinking about it that day. And he was totally into the cellulite. He was totally into it. Yeah. Him. What did you just say? Am I blurry the cellulite? No. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> she How do you this do this? right here? Get it. Get <laughs> Okay, it. but it also looks like you're trying to master it yourself. So let's, let's not do that either. You're going to have to cut that part out. Bitch. Um, yeah. So now every time I look at a man that I find attractive, all I'm thinking is, I could have this with you. Stop I mean, at that. the end of the day, I, that's all I'm thinking. It's better just to be like, come, come on, on, live free. That's really hard. Live, no, I mean, come on, head. live free with me, come into my bed. You know, you throw caution to the wind and accidentally, you get knocked and then bye, and then bye. 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 Like, she really wants. She's. She really wants us to move into and an old folks home when we get to the designing. Oh, we're gonna age. be a hundred. We're gonna be a hundred. We're, we're gonna not, be going home. She or no? She wants us to live together. In she's she's saying, they say that, but when they're old and the husbands have died, okay, including my are wife, we left? Are we left then? Because that's, well, like, well, that's, a, that's a real possibility. You know, yeah. niggas ain't shit, yeah. and I still want a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest. I don't. Good think luck. I'm married, uh, about, about you may, be, you may never even get married. Yeah. I don't think you're going to be with black guys. That's, that's so that's very, home. That's very hurtful. <laughs> it's not hurtful. The only reason I'm saying that is because you're probably going to end up breaking your words time. All that matters. That's really All hurtful. that matters is love. Yeah. That's all and that I, matters. But that's the thing, though, because I feel like you're going to fall in love with that because God wants to show you you need to open up your heart. You're going to end up, you're going to fall in love with somebody that oh, is half Asian, half white. Half Asian, damn, that's, <laughs> that's just decided. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. First of all, no. Oh, yeah. You don't know. Oh, You're not in frame. Mm -hmm. She's at the edge of the frame. Yeah. So... I miss you. I miss you too. Oh, I don't know about this. And even. Oh, let me not say. I was going to say, I was in what grade? Nope. <laughs> Why? No, did no. I say I was my age? That's okay. Alive. That's, not, that's my age. I'm alive. Mm -mm. Okay, you gotta so figure that out. Do the math. That. Watch my vlog. We have to have that conversation. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. I'm not trying so to say. say yeah, I'm not just gonna give it to you for free. You better watch my vlog and figure it out. You already know somebody of my. Once once you get to know me, Kingpin, you get to know my character, you get to know who I am, you'll know damn straight I'm not. Four. <laughs> I'm not three years old, this. But I ain't gonna give it to you. You better work. Yeah, I'm taking that bottle home. Huh? Okay, Rita. So this is the thing. You never drink. So you are lit off of one I'm just nice. Mm -hmm. She has a nice sparkle on her face. Don't ever drink. Never drink. Not once. Okay, dating a girl. No, we're not. Who doesn't know this, know this song? Shouldn't be talking to me anyway. Because you should know it just, that's why. Come on. Are we having a, like just a mini music break? Okay, but honestly, so for so Monifa or Queen Latifa, Latifa, and who's the third? I just remember that as soon as I met these hoes, I pissed on them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and you guys, I pissed on them. Like, you are my love. <laughs> Let me tell you. What is it? I told you guys. You get it, girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's just the match of the match for now. I don't want no more lights in the house. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it.
Back in the day, when we used to play, you wanted to be with me. You play the mama, baby. I play the daddy. Yeah. You can play the mama and I'll play the daddy. Yeah, I'll be the that one to have to play that. The next day. Was popping. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking. Just joshing. I'ma spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put a ball in the end zone. Put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song. Give me that tempo. Ooh. Told cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. Eating pettuccine or Vincenzo's. I like to call it a passion. That's my type of distraction. That's my type of she like. Got my own flow and I'm about to get a patent. Brand new sheets for the bed they set. Y'all was tuned in back then. I swear they keep jacking. I ain't doing no verse, quit asking. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking. Just joshing. I'ma spend this holiday locked in. My body got rid of them toxins. Sports in the top 10. I can put the ball in the end zone, put a bad bitch in the friend zone. This shit sound like an intro jet song, give me that tempo. Ooh. So cool, he a fool with the shit. Told her, don't let her friends know. In the building, I move like a dime. Eating pettuccine or Vincenzo's. Ooh. It has already been a long day, and it's only 11 a.m. <sighs> I don't know what the fuck. I'm so damn blah. I'm so sleepy. I need to wake the fuck up. Oh my god. <sighs> I have shit to do. Anyway. <sighs> Alright, y'all. That is it for this week's vlog. I am ending that shit here. I'm tired. Y'all didn't warn a bitch out. This vlogging shit is real new to me, so. It's really hard not to look at yourself. This is difficult. Hydration on point though. Okay. Hydration is on point. What do they all do? I'm so tired of this. Hey, hey, hey. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish this schedule. I was so hungry. So hungry. 
on my wife, my boo, my bae. She was hollering at me, telling me to come and get it. <laughs> so I had to go eat and I was just like, I didn't feel like vlogging afterwards. So I was just like, I'll vlog with them tomorrow. So, hey, <laughs> I was up at four this morning, y'all. Why, I don't know, because the bitch don't be getting up that early. Like, I'm, no, I'm not her. <laughs> I'm trying to be her, but I'm not her. Um, but I got up at four this morning with Bestie. What the fuck is that? Oh. I got up at four in the morning with Bestie and decided to hit the gym and I'm so proud of myself. I mean, I'm at the gym all the time. Like, stay at the gym. I just stay working out and I stay sweating. That's me. But 4 a.m. Nigga. Let me fuck up. I am really hungry. I'm sorry. I got my tea. And that Yeti. Y'all know about the Yeti. It don't get no better. And my protein bar, vegan protein bar. I don't know if I've told you guys I'm vegan. Have been for years. Um, oh my god, I'll tell you that journey and that story another time. Like, oh god. It was a rough start, and then there was a break, and that, like, ugh. but I love, I love being vegan. Like, it changes, it changed my life. It changed my body. It changed my mind. It changed my soul. It changed everything. But um, you really gotta know what you're doing. Like, you have to know how to prepare meals and not rely on vegan processed foods because that's where you go wrong. Not all substitutions for something that's bad <clears throat> are good for you just because they're vegan. No, they're vegan processed food foods. They're highly refined and they gonna fuck you up just like the real shit. So <sighs> work in progress. I still have things, you know, areas I need to improve. So We'll see. Mm. It just takes your cares away in the morning. First. Well, not first though. Um. Mm. Bitch, what do I be doing? What is my routine? I gotta do one of those because everybody do them. And they trend, so. Stay tuned. Um, the fuck was I saying? Bitch. Anyway. Oh, yeah. So I get up and the first thing in my mouth, my schedule varies. Sometimes I work out in the morning, sometimes I don't. So what I do is depending on what I'm doing that day, according to that schedule that I have not finished. Ugh. It's going to take me like another hour because it's like I'm thinking through the process as well. Like I'm thinking about what it is I want to do, what I want to change from the prior month. What I, It's just, it's a lot. And I'd be changing a lot, fuck up a lot, erase, fuck. Anyway, so there's so much I want to share with you guys. Like I can't wait. Like as private as I am, it's growing on me. It's being uncomfortable and being vulnerable. <coughs> it changes you and I think for the better at least for me so fingers crossed <laughs> I don't know how this shit's gonna go I haven't posted my first vlog yet so that will happen uh I can't even. Once I get going on this, I can't stop. Like, who's trying to talk? It's so good. This has. <clears throat> like, this is vegan process. But, if you're gonna have a protein bar, why not just make it vegan? Cut all that bad shit out. Other worse shit. <laughs> And this is this is only 12 grams of protein um but it's something so you just when you're vegan you just have to constantly shovel it with the protein it's just a thing <clears throat> it's because
because you're not eating animal flesh. Animal flesh is very, very rich, saturated in protein. So in order to, let's not, <laughs> let's not. I could talk about this shit forever. Let me digress. Reel it back in, bitch. You know, when you get to smoking, that mind will go any and everywhere. Like, <laughs> any and everywhere. I'll be ready to, like, cure cancer, bitch. I'll be ready to do everything. <coughs> I'll be having a plan <laughs> to fix everything. What am I? I said all that to say I don't remember what the fuck I was saying. <laughs> and then there's that. Oh, gosh. So, as far as what's on the itinerary for today, not too much. I just have to edit or continue editing because this is new to me and it's a doozy. Like editing, <laughs> like that shit is just for the fucking bird. Like how about I just tell you what I want you to do and you just do it. I'm figuring it out. It's, you know, once you get it, then you're just, it's, it took you so long to figure shit out that once you actually do, that shit ain't never leaving my brain. Mm -mm. So, um, I'm gonna just fuck with that <clears throat> and continue editing because um, I've been collecting content for a minute, so that shit is long. Like, god damn, so many hours to review, like, just doing this. And then I need to uh, work my first business and take care of business. And then, what the fuck else? There's something else I had to do today. Oh no, that's Saturday. Oh, I have to get my nails done on Saturday. I have to get. <clears throat> and I'll take you guys with me. That is so fucking weird to say. Like, oh my god. Ugh, I'm an influencer. <laughs> Nick, come on now. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna just finish my calendar with you guys and, um, Oh, don't touch the bed because bitch, you will get right back in it. Oh, it looks so like much. Y'all see this? Bitch, I want to jump back in that mug so bad, but now I'm going to take my ass back over here. Finish that calendar. Like, peoples are here, landscaping is here, and they are loud as fuck. But that's okay because I'm probably going to play some music. And then enter some later, no copyright, because... And again, that part, that whole part, that whole part. Now, I watch a handful of bitches, okay, and their vlogs. I watch a handful of them females. And I feel like I wasn't properly educated on, like, obtaining the music, though. SoundCloud can, like, suck my nuts. <sighs> the deep dive that that is... And then just, ooh-wee. Anyway. This has been a journey. Let me tell you, the intros, the outros, the socials, the fuck. <laughs> but I'm doing it. It's going. All right. <clears throat> I feel like it's taking me longer than usual to get, to, for, get through this first blunt. Like, fuck. <laughs> burn hmm. anyway y'all oh it seems weird because I keep looking here because there's a mirror here this is my vanity so this is um oh god turn it around this is my vanity you got me fucked up <clears throat> ain't nobody doing this ain't nobody going through all this <laughs> anyway this is my little I got it on Amazon it's just a little stand and it actually despite the fact that it just totally fell 
it's actually really sturdy and it goes up a little bit like does what I need it to do but this is my vanity mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so and that's the light that's like it's a lamp it's probably blinding you I don't even know if it's translating like all the light though Here, let me move it back can y'all see this is the situation so <clears throat> yeah let me finish this protein bar like this is just taking forever to get through i don't understand it's because i'm talking to y'all um yeah so i need to finish i don't know how many times i say it should i need to finish november planning So, mm, another thing. So, um, who knew? Constantly. So, 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 like, well, fuck. This is harder than it looks. <laughs> I give them hoes props, okay? You are like a small production away from a reality housewife show. And you're doing it yourself, managing yourself, editing yourself, um, filming yourself, promoting yourself, bitch. And then the taxes. <laughs> this is new. This is new. I'm so used to being employed. I'm so used. To, I'm like, sorry. That's gross. But my ears like itchy. Um. I am so used to being employed, like, she has been employed for years, and now I am, and this hair, this is, this is bedhead, so don't judge me, this is gym, back from the gym, the sweat has set, I need to take a shower, All right, y'all. I'm out. I will see you guys on my next week's vlog. I'm so excited. <laughs> anyway, love you guys. Bye.
right, y'all. I'm about to run a few errands. I need to stop at the bank. And um, now I'll make some calls. I need to um, I need to stop at the bank. I need to stop at the ATM. So I need to get some cash money. doesn't have that many salad options so but I know a spot that has I know a couple I'm the closest one to me right now yeah this is me cleaning my Starbucks cup you, know, you gotta sanitize everything I'm still in phase one from 2020 okay so anyway well I'm looking for something to eat um, oh, there's my old gym. Um, I thought I would just kind of go on a stroll. I mean, my favorite thing to do in these streets is just soloing, like just being around, kicking it, going to eat, taking myself out, just chilling, like with myself. It's actually very fulfilling. It's peaceful. It's I love it. So, when I do get out, I'll be by my damn self, and my bestie is um, in the Bay Area house sitting for her family, so I am by myself. Plus, Bay's at work till 6.30, so I got some hours to chill before I gotta get on my wife. Shit, my wife tip. Make sure my face. Okay. Um. Anyway, so yeah. Just strolling the streets of Saxis. So your girl is just out here hotboxing in these streets. <laughs> um, it is a beautiful, gloomy Sunday, and I just need to get the fuck out the house, to be honest. I was getting cabin fever, because I don't really leave the house, especially when the weather's like this. But, um, yeah, so... I just needed to get some fresh air. Um, yeah, because really, I mean, at this point, I only leave the house to go to the gym. And I'm going to be hungry soon because I'm smoking, so I'm just getting a late start today. Sundays are just for blah, and that is very much what this is, and it feels great. Anyway. This is a perfect time to talk to y'all and, you know, just tell you about how I made my decision to become a vlogger. <laughs> now, it's, it's, it was a decision that I struggled with because I'm super private, like, super private. I don't have social media. I don't have any of that, any of that. Well, I do now because I just started it for this, but I don't got any of that and... I'm not used to cameras and videos and I'm, I'm not, this, this is uncharted territory for me. So 
um, yeah, I decided, ooh, it's starting to rain. Mm. Okay, y'all, let me finish my blunt before I close my sunroof, please. Um, so, I mean, long story short, um, I've been watching vloggers for about a year. I lied, it's been like almost two years. Like, it's become my new TV, it's crazy. And I've been watching females do this for a while, just people, everybody do this. And I'm just like, oh, that's fun. You know, it's, you can have like a, basically life diary and I was never the one to have pictures. I was never the one to have the camera out. I was n just nothing, nothing, no socials, no nothing. And I feel like I'm going to regret that, like, because I don't have memories to look back on and you know, they're just all up here. <laughs> I mean, I have some pictures, I have little things here and there with phones and blah, yada, 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 but I've never been the one to like really capture shit. So, and I think I talked about this earlier. But that's like the pro of it all. That's like the benefit. But um, I have given almost 20 years of my life to corporate America. And I thought, you know, I would die doing what I was doing. You know, or die, retire. And because of COVID, you know, what's funny is it's not, COVID's not the reason, but the effects of COVID forced another way of thinking on me and just age and maturity and all that. Like I reached a point last year where I just didn't want to do this anymore. I didn't want to work a nine to five anymore. I didn't want to deal with bosses anymore. I didn't want to deal with bullshit. And I didn't want to deal with that shit anymore because it's all just really, oof, it's all just really pointless. Like you just, it just, I mean, people can flourish and then, you know, thrive in that atmosphere. And I did for a long, long time until I just realized I just didn't want to do this shit anymore. I mean, there's other reasons to like, um, I particularly just did not like my, um, leadership where I was last and it's the same shit no matter where you go. So you're never going to escape it. And while you can make a decent living and a great living working for somebody else, um, I just no longer wanted to, I no longer wanted to. So I knew, you know. And I never, but bef if you would have asked me years ago before being an entrepreneur, never, never, I never wanted that liability. I never wanted that. I, I was just fine working for somebody else and making somebody else's dreams come true. And I was just fine. Just hand me a check, that stability, that consistency, that I was just fine with that. Until I was no longer happy in my personal life doing what I was doing in my professional life. Um, I just wasn't happy all around. And COVID really opened my eyes to that because I worked from home for, for years. And when COVID happened, it was just like, boom, you know, like, period. You're not even coming in the office at all. So, um, and the circumstances I, I was in at the time, I just was like, fuck it. Like, I just don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. So I changed my trajectory. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do what these hoes doing. <laughs> you know, it's not something, it's something you make money off later. But my focus is just many streams of income and increasing that, you know, as an entrepreneur should um but working for someone else yeah no I can't do it anymore because my particular line of work which was healthcare um insurance uh was just mm -mm. 
it was no longer doing it for me. And when you work in any line of business, you see, you see the, 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 the ugly, you know, and <clears throat> I just couldn't do it anymore. It was, there was a lot, <laughs> there was just a lot and I was tired and nothing ever changed. Nothing ever get, got better. Nobody ever listens. Meetings upon meetings upon meetings for no reason. Just, I can't. I couldn't anymore. So here we are. And I literally quit my job. Um, and just thought, fuck it. And that was a while ago. <clears throat> I quit my I quit my job at the end of January. So, I've been kind of starting little things here and there. So, yeah, I quit my job quite abruptly. I mean, I gave me two weeks to bullshit. Um, <clears throat> but very suddenly, you know, I had been thinking about it for about a month prior to, you know, making the call. Um, but when I did, or maybe like two months, I had been playing with the idea for a while, like, really, can you, should you, will you, is this the best decision? Like, I went back and forth, I want to say like upwards of two months, and things weren't getting better in terms of, you know, life work balance and really work, you know, the stress of it all, the Oh, the worst. I haven't even told you the worst, though. Ooh. The worst was when I hit. Ooh, let me not do that. I was going to tell you my age. <laughs> I don't really care if you know my age, but I ain't going to give it to you. You better find out. Um. So. Bitch. I lost my thought. What the fuck was I saying, y'all? Oh. Um, this thing's so small, I need to quit. Anyway, so, yeah, I had been playing with the idea, that's what I was saying. I had been playing with the idea for a minute, and then, you know, I just thought I had saved up a lot of money, so if I was going to do anything, I need to do it now. So, I stacked them racks, and... Had me a little emergency fund and um, pulled the plug. It was very sudden. And um, yeah, then I was like, peace. <laughs> I was just so happy. And literally, the relief came instantly. Like the weeks to follow, I just felt like I was coming to life as, like, with every passing second. I was just, ugh. Oh. It was wonderful, and I indulged in that shit. Nigga, that was in January, okay? <laughs> it's been, it's going on a year, and I am just now starting to vlog because it has taken me until now to be comfortable with the idea of putting myself out there like that because I told you before, I am a dumbass private. Like, I am private. Anybody that knows me... Ooh, let me turn my thing off. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, anybody that knows me, I'm super private. And I just thought, fuck it. <clears throat> fuck it. I've been doing something else. You know, you have to cultivate many streams of income as an entrepreneur. You got to make sure you set. <laughs> it takes work. It takes hustle. And I've been doing a little something, something on the side, um, which is my main, you know, job, if you will. Uh, but yeah, so I have been doing a little some some on the side and I have been vlogging now for uh, two weeks. <laughs> I've been planning kind of for months now and, you know, but I've actually like started recording like it's been about two weeks. So I'm gonna get my first like at with the editing and Ugh, I know it's gonna be a bitch, but I'm gonna fuck with it. I'm gonna do it, compile all this shit, put it together, and there you go, kingpins. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna just, you know, see how it goes. I think it'll be alright. I think I'll be alright. I think it'll be cool. 
but um I know it's gonna be a doozy like oh looking at the comments looking at the oh god I can only fucking imagine like oh what these bloggers be saying it's, it's gonna hit me hard like bitch you did say <laughs> this is the worst part but I'm hopeful and I really hope you guys like me like I'm generally the type that just don't give a fuck I don't care if you like me or not but like, I want to, like, who doesn't want to be liked? Like, you know, I want to be successful. I want to be, you know, an influencer. No, I don't. Like, that's crazy. I can't even, I can't even fathom that. Like, an influencer. Who the fuck am I influencing? Don't listen to me. <laughs> don't listen to me. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I just want to have fun and I want to capture my life because this is the only way I'm going to do it is if I monetize it because otherwise I ain't doing this shit. I ain't picking up a camera. I ain't doing it. I'm on my fucking phone right now. I haven't even bought a camera. Bitch. Like, you know that bottom line is real. Okay? That emergency fund ain't going to last forever. So I got to get to it. Anyway, but vlogging income stream number two now I gotta find my third so I'm gonna make a do what I do I'm gonna thrive anyway so <clears throat> love you guys I'm going to probably end the vlog here um or not shit I don't know I might see you later peace I'm out see you in a minute bye Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. So fucking hungry. Mm. Oh my god. This sounds so fucking good. Mmm. I see these beets. Mmm. Oh my god, I was so fucking hungry. All right, Kingpins, I'm going to end my first week's vlog here. Oh my God, I was excited. I'm, I'm excited that I made it through, like, bitch. So it's over until the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching again and again. I appreciate the support more than you know, especially since I'm just now getting started and I'm like a ghost in these streets. <laughs> nobody knows me so every thumbs up every comment every share means a lot to me so put your girl on and subscribe and watch me like I'm so I'm super eager to get to know this lifestyle to become this lifestyle and really turn it into a business and thrive like I'm so eager to get started Anyway, so I'm going to try my best to remember to say a little something at the end of my vlogs and most importantly to say goodbye. So here we go. Remember to be uniquely you because that is what makes you one of a kind. Period. Living your truth, talk your shit, and most importantly, be a kind human being. Thank you again for subscribing. Keep watching. Stay tuned. I love you guys.